Hey there, Rod Prep. Coach Gary here, and today we're gonna go over three drills that are gonna help improve your overhead pressing. But first, real quick, we have a free warm up made in the link below. If you need a warm up before your next shoulder intensive workout, this is for you. It hits all aspects of the shoulder. We really take everything from the thoracic spine to the shoulder girdle to warming up the posterior delts, all of the above. That's made. For you, go ahead, click the link below. It'll get sent right to your email and you can do that before your next workout and it's gonna improve your shorter performance dramatically and quickly. But today we're gonna talk about anterior stability and how that affects our overhead pressing. So what we see with a lot of my members in my gym, what we see a lot of our wad prep athletes when we're doing some video analysis is the inability to keep some anterior control on that overhead press. We go to this overextended rib position and that is coming from not being able to get some anterior stability or some control in that in those anterior structures so what that happens if we go to that when we press right if you especially like push tricks is a very common one we come up and we're like this we overextend and then we put a lot of pressure on our back and so get that overextended position next going forward all the above today we're going to give you three drills that are going to help with your uh, creating some anterior stability, some control in that anterior structure, right? A good one would come up and we keep those abs down instead of going like that, okay? So what happens when we don't have that anterior stability and strength is that we are going to, A, when we go overhead and press, we're gonna overload that lumbar, really compress those discs. And what's gonna happen as a secondary function is our lats are gonna be very overactive we're gonna get stuck in downward rotation, which is not gonna be conducive to a good overhead stable position. So what happens in the core affects the shoulders. So let's give you three drills that's gonna improve that right now. Three totally different ones. One's on the ground, one's with some rings, and one's with a kettlebell. I happen to have, I was doing a little muscle up drills earlier, so I have two rings connected with two jump stretch bands. If, if you don't have the rings connected, no, no worries. You can just go ahead and attach two bands to the rig. So I'm gonna take these two rings, I'm gonna go down onto my knees, and then I'm gonna essentially, without letting that overextension happen, I'm gonna get into a nice, almost hollowed out position, if you will, but we're just closing the ribs, and I'm just gonna work that overhead positioning. So go in, out, at the top, let's get a little hold. We can walk it out and try to fight that pull that's taking us over top. So abs are down, keeping that control, mimic, and try to be upright as possible when pressing overhead. You're gonna be a little bit forward because that's just physics, but a little forward lean, close the core, don't go to this position, okay? Feel that glutes tight, abs down. Once you do a few of those, give me 10 of those, you can go ahead and take in a set of rings that are actually set up on the rig, and we can make it a little bit more challenging and kind of go out into a forward plank and then press up, same thing. Pull those abs down. When you come through, if you still don't have the control and you go to that overextended position, go ahead, go back to this progression right here. So that is drill one. Uh, next, this one's probably my favorite and it's the most demanding. We're gonna do some plank slides. So I have some simple sliders right here. If you have a towel and a hardwood floor, that works. Towel may even work on certain um, gym floors. I'm sure if you get creative, you can find some alternate to sliders, but if not, they're eight bucks on Amazon. I would suggest investing in a pair. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put my feet on the sliders. Now, once we're in this position and we get into the plank position, I'm gonna go ahead and get my core set first. So my knees are back at the 45 degree angle. And what I'm gonna do once I'm here, pull that belly button up to the spine, and then I'm gonna get, raise my hips up, get my glutes tight, and that gives me a little more neutral spine position. And then I'm gonna just slide back while maintaining that good core control. So here's a good one, sliding back, keeping my abs down. You can see I'm shaking like a leaf. And a bad one, you'd come back and you'd dip because you don't have that anterior control, okay? So keep the hips up, ribs down, and you can see I'm pressing into that ground, right, as I'm going back, keeping the core down. So exactly like mimicking 
going overhead. But since we're pressing into that ground, we're even gonna really challenge the serratus anterior in some upward rotation while keeping some anterior control. So, plank sliders, give me a set of 10. Those, just press back as far as you can while maintaining core control. So if you can't keep that rib cage down and not flare up, stop at that range, okay? So keep it short, go where you can keep the control. If you can't keep the control, and your hips drop and you let go of the core, then that is too far. And then lastly, another really good one that is gonna help with your overhead pressing and also your front squat is a simple kettlebell goblet squat. I think this one is very underutilized. It's very easy to throw into your warm up. Uh, it makes that anterior structure fire immediately. So you take this kettlebell, you keep it slightly away from your uh, chest. Elbows are in high and tight. And what we don't want, again, is that this position, right? Get that core engaged. You see how I shift back? My ribs come down, I suck that belly button into my spine, and then I just keep that nice control through that whole range of motion of the squat, okay? Same thing, go down, you can come down for a pause, really challenge that core, voila, okay? So those are three drills that are gonna help with that overhead press and get out of that, out of this position and get to a better position that doesn't overload your lower spine because that's not fun. Don't forget, we have that ultimate warm up, shoulder warm up in there below for you, free, right to your email. Do it before your next shoulder workout. Just give us a try, see if it helps you. I know it will because it's something you haven't done before or most of you haven't done before, so check it out. And then lastly, give us a thumbs up if you'd like this video, thumbs down if you did not. Uh, and then tell us what your number one problem is uh, for shoulders in your workouts. So whether that be a certain movement, pain, or you wanna get stronger in a certain movement, let us know. Put in the comments below what your biggest shoulder struggle is, and hopefully we'll help you out. Watt prep, over and out.